Now we've got an Epson 7880 printer here, but what I'm about to describe um, appertains to the 9880 as well. So um, if you've got an Epson 9880, you can do exactly the same thing with it. The cartridges are similar and all the, all the arrangements that we're going to talk about are the, are the same. Now, for us to convert our, our machine over from the OEM cartridges to the Lyson refillable cartridges, all we need to do is, take, is lift up the, the little uh, blue lever here, we take out the OEM cartridges in turn, and then we can simply put in our Lyson refillable cartridges that we've uh, that we've primed with with ink. Now let's show you how the how we actually uh, prime cartridges. Now for the sake of clarity, let's take out this this cartridge which we've already primed. We come towards our bench here, um, and and this is a cartridge that uh, that is empty, obviously. So this is the way you'll get them uh, from from the packet. All you need to do is take out the little take out the little stopper here you're provided with nice little funnels you get your ink and you pour your ink in here now the the maximum height let's take that out let's turn it round so you can actually see pretty well the maximum height is around this level here so there's a little there's a little square there that's pretty well the maximum height about uh, about a centimetre down from the top of the cartridge is approximately the correct height. So we've, we've filled up our cartridge with the yellow ink, taken that out, clean that with fresh water, you put your bung back in, and as if by magic, here we are, look, this is what we've done. Now, rather than just put this, this cartridge straight in the printer, we've got a little uh, preparation that we need to do which is to make sure there's a little inkway here. Let's come up close to the camera. There's a little inkway here that feeds up to the actual outlet of the cartridge. And we want to make sure that first time round we've actually got ink going all the way up there because we don't want to transfer a, uh, 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 any, any, any air into the, into the printer itself. And the way we do this your, your system comes complete with a, uh, with a set of syringes and these little elbow pieces here. Now this little elbow is ideal, it fits perfectly into the outlet. And what we do is we push it down and we actually withdraw sufficient ink so that you have a solid amount of ink entering your syringe. And we've, so what, what we've actually done is we've brought the ink up that little ink, ink way here and it goes to the outlet and we know now that we've got a solid amount of ink in our cartridge. Now as in all refillable cartridge applications it's a good idea when you put your cartridges into the printer allow everything to settle for at least 10 minutes so that any bubbles that are, are inside your, 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 your system have had a chance to uh, to subside. Now the first time you, you fill up your cartridge you won't need to do any resetting of the little chip. So all we need to do here is to take the cartridge, keep it level, enter it into the printer nice and firmly and bring it down and the printer will read the cartridge. Now you'll be able to start printing, get a perfect nozzle check and start printing in the usual way. These licensings are fantastic. They, they give you very, very good professional uh, results in colour and in monochrome. And of course it's much, much cheaper for you. Um, in use, you'll notice that the little memory, that the, the, little, the, the little columns up here that indicate the amount of memory that you've got left in each of these cartridges they don't actually measure ink but there are there are a sort of a rough counter as to as to when the printer advises you to change your cartridges now from time to time you'll get an indication that let's say one of the cartridges needs to be changed well in this case it actually means that we need to reset the cartridges 
So if we do need to reset the cartridges at any time, you simply take it. Let's say it's the yellow that's, that's, that's gone down. We can then just take this cartridge out, bring it back to the table because we can see what we're doing. We take our resetter that comes with the kit and we simply, now let's, let's get up close to the camera because it's nice for you to see. There's the chip, um, there's the little resetter and all we do is we set it in like so. There we go. Well, let's, 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 let's see how clever I am. 